in this screencast, we'll um, uh, start talking about um, uh, proof by contradiction. Uh, proof by contradiction is one of the techniques alongside with induction, uh, one of the two techniques, um, uh, and the second being uh, induction, uh, that are very uh, frequent and prevalent in uh, theoretical computer science. So let's say that you have um, a set of propositions, P1, P2, uh, Pn, and um, you want to derive or to prove uh, some other proposition uh, from these propositions, S. So in the proof by contradiction, you start uh, by assuming that um, uh, P1, P2, and all, all the way down to Pn are true. So you assume that these are true. And um, you also assume right, Pn, the negation of S, that the negation of S is true. So that's, that's the first thing that um, we will do. And our um, job is to derive a contradiction, a statement, some statement S prime that um, contradicts either one of the propositions, because we have assumed them to be true, or it may be uh, contradicting another statement known to be true. So, and, uh, so what are we to conclude? Since um, all of the PIs are true, the negation of S1 that we have assumed to be true must be false. So, S must be true. So that's the uh, uh, generic structure of a typical proof by uh, contradiction. They all have that structure. So uh, uh, here's an example. Let's go through a simple example. Let's um, take a natural number n and um, take its square and um, let's assume that the square of n is even where m is natural, 2 times m, where m is a natural number. So um, we're going to show that if this is true, then n is also e even. So it's equal to 2 times l, where l is a natural number. Okay, so if the square of a number, a natural number is even, so, so is that natural number. So let's use the proof by contradiction method. So we will assume that uh, the square of the number, of a natural number, is even. So n square equals 2m. And toward a contradiction, we will assume and that's our statement S, the negation of uh, S, right? Uh, that N is equal to uh, 2K plus 1, where K is a natural number. In other words, N is an odd number, which will negate. This is the negation of uh, this statement, that N is equal to 2 times L. Right? So uh, N equals 2 times L is S, and uh, uh, n equals 2 times k plus 1 is the negation of that statement. So let's consider n squared, right? So n squared is equal to um, 2k plus 1 squared equals uh, 4k squared plus uh, 2 times 2k plus 1, which gives us 4k plus uh, 1. 
and that gives us 2 times 2k squared plus 1, uh, plus 2, rather, uh, plus 2k. I have factored 2, uh, plus 1. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that n squared is an odd number. Is odd. But that contradicts our assumption, p. It's a contradiction. And that, what does it contradict? It contradicts this assumption. This. That n squared is an odd number. So, n must be even. So the negation of s is not true. Okay, let's uh, grab some white space and um, use our uh, proof that we just did that if the square of a natural number is even, then that natural number is even too, to uh, use proof by contradiction to prove another um, uh, very famous uh, fact from um, the number theory. So we're going to show that uh, the square root of 2 is not a rational number. So, we will assume that it is. So, is rational? So, what does it mean? It means that um, the square root of 2 is equal to um, then, right? Then, the square root of 2 is equal to uh, a ratio of numbers, p over q. Where p and q are not, uh, re uh, um, uh, well, uh, 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 where p and q are relatively prime. They do not have common factors. So, for example, 2 over 4 is not relatively prime because we can always uh, reduce them by, uh, by 2, divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So, uh, that's a rational number. Right, P and Q are relatively prime. So let's square both sides. So we're going to get uh, 2 equals P square Q square. So that means that um, P square is equal to 2 times Q square. Now, q is a natural number, so by the previous uh, proof, it follows that p is even. Or um, p um, is equal to 2 times m for some m. Okay, number 4. So since p is even, right, so p is equal to 2 times m, m is a natural number, as we just said. Now, let's um, compute p squared. It's equal to 2m squared. Squared. And that's equal to 4m squared. And that's equal to two q squared, right? So dividing by two, both sides of this equality gives us two m squared equals q squared. So uh, q squared is an even number, which means that q is an even number. But that means that 
since P and Q are both even, they cannot be relatively prime because they will have um, a common factor. And that's a contradiction that contradicts statement number two, which means that the square root of two is not a rational number. So this is the this is the state the statement that um, is contradicted, because if the square root of two is a rational number, then it is equal to some uh, p over q, where p and q are relatively prime. So since we have derived a contradiction, um, that means or thus uh, square root of two cannot be equal to uh, any p and q. They are relatively prime, and hence the square root of 2 is not a rational number.